Hey guys, today I'm bringing you my review of Rain Season 2, Episode 12, titled Banished. Um, yeah, I'm going to go out right and say, I'm going to say it right out. I didn't like this episode. It was a bad episode. I mean, even with all the things that happened, I was like, I was not happy. It was a, it was a bad episode. This is the first in this season, truly bad episode of Rain. Even though I raved over episode five um, of this season, I still like realize, yeah, like the whole sex hero thing, that was really dumb, but this was a bad episode. I'm sorry, it was a bad episode, and yeah. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on the first two things because, yeah, okay. Um, we saw our cease again, and he has to um, give it, give up his land. And yeah, it's nice to see our cease again. Very handsome. Now, my only problem is we know that Francis is now in a way, hit way one, and um, so obviously we know that Narcisse is now going to be like Francis's puppet. <laughs> Whatever. Um, my only my only thing is okay. Obviously, Narcisse doesn't have its power again, but don't take away his all that personality he had. All his great one-liners and his smooth moves, like, don't take that out away, just because maybe, like, uh, financially, financially and title and power, as powerful, he, he does have a lot of powerful friends still, but, like, power of his own, he doesn't have it, but don't take away his smoothness and his great lines, and, you know, don't take that away. If you do, if you do, Rain Riders, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, and... I'm just going to say it because I don't really want to talk about this part. Um, Greer is freaking banished. Like, what the hell? Because they, fi because it's late. they find out, basically, that uh, Casseroy and Greer uh, funded the attack unknowingly, unknowingly. And Mary was all like, up being, oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I did all I could to ha help you. You're my best friend. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe I shouldn't have brought you guys to Scotland. Blah, blah, blah. But I just needed, well, shut up, Mary. So, um, I'm not mad at her. I was just, like, annoyed with her at, at that scene. But, yeah, um, so, and Greer is freaking banned. She has no, her, no, her lands or titles. And ca she should have gone with Casseroy. She should have freaking gone with Casseroy when she had the chance. And now she's fucked. And she's freaking banished. I'm like, what the act? What the actual hell? What the hell? Rain Riders, you guys. Last up week's episode was good, but it's not as good as it could have been. And then this ep week's episode sucks. You guys are treading a very thin line. You better. Now I have hope for next week's episode because it looks like a lot. Of, we'll be seeing a lot of the Bourbon Brothers, Antoine and uh, Conde. But, Rain Riders, I don't know if you're hearing me, but you guys better shape up, because I'm not going to take this crap every week. I mean, if you, if, okay, so if there's a bad episode every once in a while, it happens, but just, this is a special kind of bad. This episode, I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. Just, yeah. <sighs> Okay, moving on to next topic. Basically, this is the whole Bash and Diane and Kenna and Catherine and Henry and Ghost Twins and Claude thing all into one. A lot happened with this part, and I'm not happy about this, all this either. Um, basically, um, Claude's trying to find out who really killed the twins, because we know she didn't. Which, first of all, after they came to the realization that it was actually the nanny who did it, before we know who really did it, like... I don't know, Claude gave a speech, and I was like, she's such a bad actress. I'm, she's a terrible actress. Like, she was really, really bad last week, guys. I know some people say, oh my gosh, she was so good. No, she was, she was bad. Now I've seen good TV, great TV acting, like Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones and other great shows. I'm like, yeah, her acting is mediocre at best. She was terrible last week. I did not mention it in my, I forgot to mention it last week, but she was awful. And this week, she was no better. She wasn't as bad as last week, but she was... And also, those ghost twin girls, they were awful. Especially, like, the one with the dark, darker hair. Like, the darker skinned one. She was bad. She was really bad. Okay. 
So basically, yeah. So basically, in the end, after we learn ev everything that happened, I will get more into it. Um, basically, um, Catherine finally tells Henry and the twins, you know what, I don't need you anymore, I don't want you anymore. It's like, okay, for a cup, it, okay, it was fine for a couple episodes for Catherine not to be all right in the head, you know, um, talking to Ghost Henry and Ghost Twins, but it, if it had gone on any longer, it would have gotten old, it would have been gotten old, I would have been like, over, I, I'm, I'm glad it's over now, and I'm glad I only lasted this, a co these couple episodes, but if it had lasted any longer, I would have been like, I would have been annoyed, I would have been done, but yeah. So, in the meanwhile, like, the first scene, we, one of the first scenes we see, uh, Bash is going into Kenna, his room with Kenna, and Kenna's, like, waiting on the bed, just like, ugh, she was so annoying, she was actually not good in this episode either, and I have to say, um, I know Kenna's supposed to be, like, the free-spirited one, like, the kind of bohemian, like, but she does not, I know she's free-spirited and all that, but she does not walk like a lady, she always, like, flings her arms around when she's walking, and I'm like, I know you're, like, definitely, you know, she's just really, like, she needs to, like, walk better, like, more proper. I know she's more free-spirited, but still, it's like, she always sways her arms around. I'm like, I'm sick of it. But anyways, and also, they still, the ladies still don't curtsy before they see Mary. I know she, they're good friends, but they still, they still have to bow to her. She's the queen of Scotland and France. But anyways, um, yeah. So, basically, well, I'll talk, I'll talk about what happened with Diane and Catherine at the end of this little bit. Um, basically, obviously we know Bash helped Claude find out, and then we'll, but who knows what's going to happen with that. But anyways, and basically, uh, Bash basically ended up confronting Diane the last time they see each other, and, um... Yep, and, yeah, Diane obviously has to leave, but she, not be, before, she, not before that last scene she's in, um, she basically said, oh, yeah, Kenna knew about the legitimization, she knew, and she told Catherine about it, and then I was like, whoa, and then the last scene we see of Kenna and Bash in this episode, uh, Kenna's like, uh, Bash confronted Kenna about it, and she's like, I was young, I was scared, I loved Henry, blah, 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 I wanted to, oh, my gosh. And, um, yeah, basically, now, um, but Bash wasn't hearing any of it. Good, I'm glad. He doesn't need to take Kenna's shit anymore. So, basically, Kenna and Bash are on the rocks, which I have to say, I never, I thought they were a fine couple. They were okay, but I never thought they were in love. I know it's like they're, the writers are, like, trying to make it, like, oh my gosh, they're so in love. They may love each other, but not, they're not in love. And I thought, I always thought their relationship was purely physical, you know? I never thought it was like Mary and Francis's. Well, when it was like Mary and Francis's, like, they were actually in love. But anyways, um, yeah. And also, um, and then before I go on this last part of this section, um, Kenna went on another rant, like, she, another little monologue, which she's done a couple times. She's like, Wait, you don't know what it's like to be a woman in this world. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, shut the hell up. Obviously, you know, I mean, I know in real life, Caitlyn Stacey is a big, like, feminist, and she tweets a lot about I read some of her tweets and her retweets, and I was like, I'm so, I would never follow her on Twitter, and I never would never be friends with her. Good, she's fighting for, you know, what women's right, rights as a woman. I obviously want my rights, but, you know, but still... I would, I'm just like, I would never be friends with her, or I would never follow her on Twitter either, because that seems to be all she talks about, and that would get annoying really fast, but anyways, um, yeah, so basically the last scene of the episode, I'm, don't worry, I will talk about Mary Conde and, Fran and all that stuff, the last, but, um, Catherine, oh yeah, Bash had told, that Catherine realized, came to the realization, at the last scene, like, the last few minutes, um, Catherine finally, like, Diane's packing to leave, and Catherine hits her over the head with this th fire starter thing, and basically, Catherine tells her off, and 
Catherine finally ends up killing Diane, which is, I didn't care. I didn't like this version of Diane anyways. So, yeah, Catherine killed Diane. Yeah. And we learned, because we learned Diane is the one who killed the twins. It was the whole jealousy thing, and, like, so, because of your, you killed two babies because your man wasn't giving you enough attention. He's the fucking king of France. Like, oh my gosh, this episode is making me mad just thinking about it, guys. Um, I don't know if I'll even rewatch it. I might eventually rewatch it. Like, I mean, because I'm obviously going to buy season two on Blu-ray when it comes out, but yeah. So, Diane's the one who killed the twins, and also... Before I, but yeah, so that happened. But before I go to the last th stuff I want to talk about, I never liked the way they portrayed Diane because Diane was like, oh, the key. Henry was in love with Diane. They're trying to make make it like Henry and Catherine were in love. They hated each other. They only consummated their they had sex to have uh, heirs, you know, which they had ten in total. Um, but Henry was in love with uh, Diane, like in love. And, honestly, Diane had a good relationship with the the royal children and Mary and her ladies, you know? And I'm like, I don't like that, what, what they did to her character. I don't like that. So, yeah. But now Diane's dead. I mean, Diane only died, of, like, six, five, six years after her. She was banished anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. She wasn't even doing anything in her last years. But yeah, so Diane's dead. Um, is this the character they'll talk? They're talking about who died, who's gonna die? Because that can't be. That no, no. <sighs> okay. Oh my, this one, one second, guys. <sighs> I need water. Okay. Basically, now, basically, <sighs> Mary and Francis finally realizes that Condé has feelings for Mary. He saw that they touched hands again. I'm like, okay, the first time they touched hands, I was like, oh, something's going to start up. And then the last week's episode, when they touched hands again, I was like, Good for you, Mary. You're finally, you're finally touching hands. And now this week, I'm like, now I'm like, for the love of Jesus, can we please get on to kissing, like a stolen kiss or something? I'm tired of only the hand touching. It's getting old now. But yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and basically, and also, um, you know, Kanye was offered some of the land, but Narcissus land, and, um, he denied, he's like, no, not just because of his love for Mary, because he just, like, he thinks Francis was such a bad king. I still don't think he's that good of a king. Though, honestly, he only even ruled for, like, a little over a year and a few months before he died. So, he never really got to be a good king. But anyways, and, yep. And then at the banquet, which for, the dresses are lovely, even though I hate the all, I hate Mary wearing all white, she still looks lovely. Um, Conde looks so sexy in his blue, I just, <sighs> so, um, yeah. And you know that stick fighting, so they were just doing that at the, for Jest and Conde and Francis, they stuck fight and stick, stick fought, I, I don't even know how to say, how I would say that properly, but yeah, um, stick fighting, um, yeah, so, and then at the end, uh, he get, hits, uh, kind of marks, uh, Francis in the face, good, for Conde, and Con, uh, Mary and Francis have a conversation, and, um, yeah, <laughs> and basically, he knows, he says he knows about Conde loving her, he's all like, blah, 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 he's like, I know you'll eventually give me an heir, but there can be no question about the heir, you know? I was like, he was like, that's what wars are started over, blah, so I was not like, like, not, so yeah. Okay. So, basically, basically, now, at the last scene, we see a Mary and Francis together. Mary, he, Condit, Francis is talking to Mary, um, 
He's like, uh, blah, 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 can I stay with you this night? I'll just watch over you while you sleep. And Mary said yes. I'm thinking, fuck. A happy frary. Like, first of all, writers, either you get Mary and Condé together, like, an affair, because I know they never marry, or you keep Mary and Francis happy. You can't give us both. One or the other, for the love of Jesus, at least if you... I mean, I'll be upset if you make Frary happy forever until Francis dies. Uh, I'll be upset about it, but I will in the end be okay because, like, oh, you're stop cock, you're not teasing us anymore. Like, I'm sick of the teasing. Make up your damn mind. Okay, so happy Frary, Mondi shippers. We gotta start worrying. Um, Oh my gosh, like, happy Frary. Though that's not the thing I'm mad about, because I knew Frary was eventually going to be start patching up. No. Basically, uh, Mary talks to Lola, and she's like, basically Mary is trying to set up Lola and Conde together. up. like, I was pissed. I, like, slammed my hands down on the couch. I was so pissed. I was like, I, w I might have started cursing, but, and then, uh, Lola and, uh, Conde had this conversation, and it's like, blah, 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 she's all like, str I love Mary, she's my friend, I'll do anything, blah, 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 I don't even know exactly what she said, I don't give a shit about Lola, I don't, honestly, she hasn't been impressing me this season, and, not only that, she betrayed Tyrion, uh, not Tyrion, <laughs> she betrayed, Con uh, Narcisse. That's the thing. When a character I like betrays a character I love, I'm just like, I'm done with that character I like. Same with Shay and Tyrion. Like, when Shay, spoiler alert for Game of Thrones if you haven't caught up, when Shay basically betrayed Tyrion, I was like, uh, fuck you, Shay, I'm done. Um, so yeah. And then basically they both agree, no, I will do it. Because we know Conde is obviously still in love with Mary, but now maybe he's trying to get over and like, Oh, Conde and Lola, I'm, I, I'm not happy about this, guys. I don't, I'm not, I'm so pissed about this. Oh, oh my gosh, I am not happy about this at all. Like, what the hell is with freaking Lola and taking all of Mary's men? She slept with Francis and ended up with a child. Now this is Conde. Heck, she even ha might have had a little fling with Bash before the whole MASH stuff happened. Just like... What the hell? What? Who's next? Late? Like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm pissed. And also, I know this is, I'm cursing a lot, guys, but when I get really passionate about stuff, I just, uh, F-bombs happen. Just cursing and happen. Sorry, I try to keep my channel clean, but when I get passionate about something, I'm just like, I'm gonna let it all out. So, yeah. Lola and Conde, so apparently, uh, Cola is their ship name, apparently. But I'm like, nope, 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 I'm not happy about this. And honestly, I follow Rain CW on Twitter, and when they asked, like, how was the episode, I'm going to say it sucked. I'm going to tweet at them, it was a bad episode, something like that. Because this was a bad episode, I'm sorry. Even with all the things that happened, the reveals, the twitch and all that, bad episode. Um, yeah, so I'm not happy about Cola, Lola, and first Frola, now Cola, and now like, oh my gosh, I'm not happy about this freaking at all. Now, next week's episode, though, looks good. Like, it looks like it'll do a lot, Conde and Antoine will be having a lot to do next week's episode, so I'm looking forward to that, but yeah, I'm not, but... Just because there's a bad episode of Rain doesn't mean I'm not going to look forward to it. Not look forward to it every week. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, hopefully next week's episode good is good. But, yeah, at the end of the day, this was a bad episode. I would give it, like, a 2 out of 5 stars. Like, I know I'm not ranking every episode, but this was not good. 2 out of 5 stars. I might raise it higher once I've calmed down, but no, I'm not going to. It's a two out of five star episode, and that's being nice. I could have given it like a one and a half out of five stars. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I saw this week's episode of Rain. What did you think of it? And 
for ne upcoming videos this weekend. Um, next uh, tomorrow, I will have a rain prediction video out because of the stills and the plots released for next week's episodes. I will make a video about that tomorrow. And I am seeing Game of Thrones and IMAX guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. I'm seeing it at 7.20. I, it was 17 like, uh, almost like $18, guys. But it's so worth it. And not only that, they premiere the freaking season 5 trailer. I'm, guys, oh my gosh. So, yeah. So, and obviously, I'm sorry I was so, like, a, I was so, a downer. I'm sorry I cursed so much, but just, I, I hate this episode. I'm good. I'm, I hate, I hated it. I hated it. No, I, I'm giving it a one out of five star. I, I hated this episode. Um, hopefully next week's be episode is better. And yeah, so my trailer review for Game of Thrones season five will be up tomorrow, and the rain predictions video will be up tomorrow as well. And then I don't know what I'm doing for sat if I'm making videos for Saturday and Sunday. But yeah, other than that, I really have nothing else to say. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.